Hey everyone, it's Alejandro from Lodo Plays, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we upgraded some of our equipment, and then I made it through a good chunk of Death Mountain. This episode, we're going to continue exploring Death Mountain and hopefully make it to the Tower of Hera. Now, when we last left off, I was obviously in this room where I got the heart piece, so we can just head on out of here now. Uh, yeah, okay. Looks like there's an opposite pathway, which would have, um, we would have been able to take if we had jumped off from, I guess, towards that side. I don't know, let's see if I can actually jump from it. Oops, did not mean to go back in. Right, come on, jump, Link. Yeah, right when I jump off, that's when the boulders start coming. This is actually faster than walking. Um, maybe by a bit, but not really. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Just, just to check. Let's just see what's what would happen if we jumped into this one right here. Ah, mini moldorms. <laughs> not these guys again. But luckily, I can take them out with my sword. At least I would be able to if I didn't let them hit me like that repeatedly. This is bad. Right, come on, just... Yeah, there we go. Just run straight into my sword. Alright, is there anything... Oh, <laughs> I'd say perfect, I needed these. Some fairies, and I still have an empty pot from when I accidentally went down again last episode, so... Nope. I meant to hit... Come on. Perfect. Alright, keep that in a bottle then. Alright, uh, now that I'm done here, I'm just gonna... Head back to where I jumped off, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, so now that we're back here, um, I believe, as you can see, there's still a piece of art. Ah, this is where I wanted to go. Now, we've got this strange looking thing over here. So why don't we just head into it really quick, see what happens. And, yep. It looks like we're almost in an alternate reality, and, and now we're just a, a, a rabbit. And we can't do anything. Which, by the way, this music is really cool. I I, I just really love this th this theme here. But anyways, uh, enough about that. When we're a bunny, we can't actually do anything. We can't do any attacks or whatever. Now I don't remember what these guys are called. I'll just have to avoid him for now. Where I wanted to go was. Uh, nope. Oh no, I'm just heading back down. Now, uh, uh, I'm sure that you noticed that once I stepped onto that little, I guess, transporter thing, if I just go back really quick to double check, it disappeared. So, how are we going to get back to the real world? Well, that's actually where the old man came in. If you remember, he actually mentioned something about... That with the magic mirror, so it's good that he gave it to us. And I believe if we have the magic mirror right and use it right here. Ah, <laughs> perfect, like right on top of it. Now, that's something that we're gonna, oops, we're gonna wanna remember. Also, as you can see, there's like the, this little, I guess, sparkly dust kind of stuff. We could um, probably head back into the dark world there. I actually don't remember. And I think that's actually how we get... Yeah, okay, that's actually how we get up to this area. Where, it's at where we want to go, coincidentally. But I wanted to explore that cave first, because I completely forgot this was actually the way you had to go. So, let's just look in there real quick. Watch it be... Oh, no. <laughs> and I... Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, I see what I... Well, that's a shame. So I'll meet you guys back to where we need to be. Unfortunately, I just kind of screwed myself and I have to go all the way back. Stupid mini Moldorm. All right, so we're back in front of this tower looking thing. So why don't we just head on inside and see... Actually, I believe... Ah, yes, perfect. This is the Tower of Hera, the third proper dungeon. Now, as you can see, we have these little crystal switches here. If, if you've played other Zeldas, you'll probably be familiar with them. 
If not, once what it happens is once you hit one, it changes the color, and the color that's displayed is the color that um, the blocks are retracted. So now that the blue color is displayed, we can walk on overall where these blue panels were, but we can't go anywhere where a red panel was, or red blocks, or whatever those things are. So why don't we just head downstairs first, since it's the only way open right now. Uh, all right, uh, we have a red Stalfos here. They throw their bones at you, as you can see. Again, not too bad. Let's put our little boomerang to... Can I actually... Yep, okay, I didn't even need to let that mini Moldorm out. I could just use my boomerang to grab it. But I kind of want to hurt, kill him right through here. Uh, yep, all right. I do not want to hit this because there's no reason to hit it because we're just going to be trapped when we go back upstairs right here. So now that's down out of the way, let's hit this one here, and let's head upstairs really quick. Ah, okay, um, what, I can't remember what these guys are called, but you can hurt them, but also you can, uh, as you can see, I could just knock them over. That's another simple way to take care of them, but I'm sure a pot will do a lot of damage. Yep, <laughs> good old pot. Alright, we can now head through here. Oh, okay. I completely forgot about that mechanic. Um, apparently when you step on these little star th looking th tiles on the ground, it switches the um, where the pitfalls are. So, switch it one more time. And yep, alright, well, we can't do anything here because obviously we need the big key. Did not want to go into that. So why don't we just actually just drop down? Because this dungeon is a dungeon where you, when you fall through a hole, it looks like you're going to be just go down to the floor below it. Uh, it looks like, hey, another thing from Sahasrila. Link, it is I, Sahasrila, the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. That's actually really useful advice that I did not even remember. So, good on him. You know, we're right by the entrance. Let, let's just let's just see how that works. All right, get the magic mirror out and let's try it. And as you can see, he was telling the truth. We're right here by the entrance, so that's a nice little handy thing to do if you're having a little bit of trouble and you just want to get out of the dungeon really quick. Also, something I didn't uh, mention is you can use ranged items like the boomerang to hit the switches, which we're gonna have to see later on. But I might as well just show it now. Okay, hit that. And let's see what's in this chest here. Ah, perfect. We got the map. All right. Ooh, do not want to get hit by those fireballs. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's this is a pretty tall dungeon we have here. We got six floors, but what would you expect from a place called the Tower of Hera? And we're... All right. Apparently, we're on the second floor. Yeah, okay, so the one the floor that we went on was not just a basement floor. It was actually the first floor. All right, the second floor... Third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth floor. So the places, the, it doesn't look like there's that many rooms in this palace as opposed to floors. So that's just something to keep, uh, you know, keep an eye out for. Now, let's get out of this. Um, avoid these guys with the fireballs. Um, yeah, I don't remember what those guys are called. Uh, I want to save their red Kadongos. Not Dodongos, like uh, another classic Zelda maze, but Kadongos. Don't get really get that one myself, but whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, so now I can see uh, I got the key, so we can just head on down again. Ah, looks like there's probably a place with a switch. Oh, man, the... the Freaking flying tiles. Just gonna dodge them. Hit that. Oops. Yeah, okay, so I actually have to survive the flying tiles. Well, that's not too bad. I'll just run in a circle this time. Actually, wait, can I block them with this new shield? Nope. Oh, this is not going well. Oops. Did not mean to do that either. This is going very, very poorly. This is... Okay, all right, perfect. Um, 
Yeah, let's head on through. I have two fairies. Are right, one of you guys gonna drop a heart? Nope, just a rupee. And actually, something I forgot that you could do is uh, these guys are actually susceptible to bombs. So when I was in that room a few parts ago where there was a gap and I couldn't reach it, I could have just used a bomb. Now, what you can do with a bomb is pick it. <laughs> Pick it up after you place it, but you gotta be a little faster than that, apparently. Alright, well, lessons learned. Ugh, man. Yeah, see? So I could just throw it over uh, gaps, and I could've hit those mini Moldorms uh, when I had wasted all those arrows, but whatever. Alright, hit that. Let's take this guy out, I said. I really should have been faster on the bombs. I'm pretty sure um, there was a Zelda game I played recently, actually, that where if you picked up the bombs, they wouldn't explode until you threw them. I think it was Link's Awakening. I'm not sure if it's in other Zeldas as well, but that's just uh, it was a recent Zelda game that I played, and I believe it was Link's Awakening. Ah, hello. We have one of these rooms. Perfect. Oh, wow, I did not need that big magic thing right now. All right, now that, as you can see, it looks like it's a dead end, but torches. So let's light them all up. And what do we have? We have some Stalfos that I want to take care of first. Alright. Now let's get the boomerang out on this one. Actually, I think the arrows probably work better. Apparently, it would work better if I could hit them. Wow. That was bad. Oh, already. All right, so we got the big key. Perfect. All right, now we can just head on up to... What was it? The room that had the big key in? Oh. Oops, I gotta make sure to hit the switch. Yeah, this is kind of the gimmick in this dungeon. Make sure you have the switches, uh, you know, repeatedly turned on and off. Or w and just make sure you hit it for whatever area you need to go to. Sure, it's not the last we'll see of that, that's for sure. Um... Can I? Nah, maybe. No. Man, I really thought I could probably hit the switch. All right, so I messed up there a little bit. That's fine. I'll just head down really quick and hit the switch. Oh god, the, the tiles. Just get out of here. Not gonna worry about them. All right. Um... I think it was up. Let's try it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this way. Alright. And let's get the pot for the last one. Oop, missed that. Perfect. Let's get the rupees, because now that I'm low on rupees, I'm going to want it, because there's still plenty more upgrades I can get from that fairy that I showed you last part. Alright, let's see, can I? Nope. I want to see if I can- oh! <laughs> Apparently he just ran into it for me because he felt bad. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, gotta be careful here. Oops. Alright, let's see what's in this room. More of these guys. <sighs> trying to remember what they're called. I don't know, it'll probably- it'll come to me, I'm sure. Alright, uh, Maybe I can just lure him to walk in- nope, they're, he's being cautious. Actually, where does- Ah, okay. See, so yeah, I just kind of- um, I, I could have done that, probably got him out faster, but no big deal. Now let's step on this, hopefully. Ah, I thought I was gonna hit him off. Um, let's just take him out. Alright, uh, head on up. What's up here? And just some mini Moldorms. Come on, ah, there it goes. Alright, you gotta... <laughs> Man, these guys are annoying.
Hey, look, another uh, one of those telepathic stones. And also, the compass. Now, I'm sure it's probably not that big of a stretch, but I can guarantee you that the boss is going to be on the top, yep, top floor. I mean, kind of obvious on a tower, but just you know, nice to know at least, for sure. I need to take out these Kadongos. All right, let's see what he has to say. Link, it is I, Sahasrila, the Elder. An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. Alright, so I guess I kind of mentioned there about the Dark World, and if you hadn't already guessed, that was what we were uh, in when we were in that parallel dimension where we were turned into a rabbit. Which, if we have the Moon Pearl, to be able to retain our form in the Dark World would be something that would be very, very valuable. So we definitely want that, as well as a pendant. All right, these bumpers. Oh God, these things, I remember them. All right. Ah, now I remember what these guys are called. They're called hard hat beetles, okay. Yeah, there's a blue and red one. Don't remember the difference on those, but it doesn't matter. Now let's take the rest of them out. Yeah, okay, boomerang doesn't work on them, that's fine. Wow, okay, I, I found the difference. Apparently the red one takes a lot of hits, or maybe he's, Oh, I was about to say invincible, or at least he doesn't take damage from sword. I was gonna just knock him off, but nope, he's done. He's done. Well, that's nice, huh? Hey, that's looking heading towards the boss room already. Uh, do not want to go there because there's plenty of places I haven't explored in this dungeon, like this cracked wall over here. Wait, w wait, what? It's a cracked wall. I mean. All right, well, there's there's lots of cracked walls here, actually. There's no way that they all lead somewhere. Oh, man, I feel like I'm missing something. Um, oh, I'm probably going to need the dungeon treasure now that I think about it, and it was under here. All right, I believe we switch it, and we want to go in this one? Nope, it's not that one. Okay, um... Yeah, that just makes it... Oh, wait, did I actually do that right? Oh, man. It's been a while, so I don't remember. You know what, let's just leave it like that and let's try... Oops. No, that, wait. How would that work? Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave it like this, just in case. Alright, let's... Hmm. I want to drop in on that, obviously, but... How? Um... I guess we got to avoid this thing. <laughs> a very familiar sight if you ever played a Mario game. Hmm. This is tricky here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Forgetting something very important. Let's just drop through here again. Wait, w wait, what? Uh, okay, I guess I just had to go in at a different angle. Sure. You found the moon pearl. This protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. Now that is very, very useful. So now we're not going to be turned into a rabbit whenever we enter the dark world. Which we're, I mean, we needed that to progress. Now, hold on. Oops. May I check the map? Apparently, I'm still having trouble with the buttons. Um. Yeah, we've about explored the rest of this dungeon. So why don't we go and head on and take out these this dungeon's boss? Actually, a fairly short dungeon. I'm actually surprised. Whoa, that was close. Gonna avoid this stuff. And now if I remember about the boss, I'm not gonna be too happy. Yeah, oh man. It's Moldorm. Not mini Moldorm, Moldorm. Now I remember when I was younger and I used to play this, this boss in particular 
really annoyed me. As you'll hopefully see why in a little- or not hopefully, but as you might see why. Get him! <laughs> That's why. He'll just knock you off into a the room below, which is... It's gonna take a long time to fight him if I keep uh, getting hit by him. Alright, uh, let's switch to something better here. Uh, will the boomerang work? Let's see. You're just gonna want to be careful to. S nope. <laughs> oh man, this isn't good. Oh 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 wow. Okay, that was unlucky. How far am I going? Okay, that's I'm uh, not too far. Um. Yeah, this is. I'm trying to remember if there was a strategy to beat him. If there was, I can't remember it. Luckily, there's lots of there was lots of hearts here. I mean, I think I have what these three left, and then I don't have any more hearts left, unfortunately. Okay, I'll try bombs in this fight because I just want to see. That I think there is a trick to him. Maybe there isn't, and I'm just remembering wrong. Oh, uh, come on. Really? Yeah, okay, so you gotta hit his tail, and he just... Just he kinda keeps going everywhere, really. Alright, I guess the trick is, you gotta be... Patient. Which is something I gotta learn more of in this game. Oh! By the way, the sound effects, and just the way this guy looks, is just so, I don't know, creepy. He looks like he's got like, a, he's like a hairy worm thing. Oh, come on. Oh man, I hate that guy. I really hate that guy. Hopefully this is gonna take like 30 minutes. I wouldn't spare you, I wouldn't uh, torment you guys and actually show you the whole thing if it actually did take so long. Um, does his health actually... I mean, does it stay down from last time? I don't think it does, which is another thing. So if you fall down, you're gonna have to fight him all the way. So if you have one more hit left, I believe that you're gonna have to get... have to start all over if you fall off. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was close. Let's try the bow here. Probably should've just win it from the other way, but whatever. I don't think the bow works. Oh god, this is scary. Does the ice rod work? Nope. Yeah, I think you just gotta go at him with the sword. Oh man. This... Oh, okay, now as you can see, he's starting to go a little bit faster. Oh wow, how did I survive that? Or at least... Come on. And I'm out of hearts, too. Of course I'm out of hearts. Ugh, jeez. Alright. Um... <sighs> Come on. This is just bad. Alright, look, one more time, and I might just have to cut uh, until I finally beat him. I don't know, I don't want you guys to sit through like 20 minutes of me trying to go at this guy. Now, I know I'm low on health, I probably will use a red potion if I'm doing good. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Um, you know what? Screw it, I'll use a potion now. Why not? Um, okay. There's not really anything I think I can use. Ah, okay, got him again. I wonder how many, don't remember how many hits this guy takes, but it's quite a few, at least in terms of because I have to make sure I don't fall off again. Ah, now he's starting to go faster. Oh, man. Uh, I want to stay in this middle area because that feels like if I get hit, I'm the safest. And there's a lot of... Oh, man. Come on. Really? Really? 
There's, there's gotta be a way. I feel like I'm getting close. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna give up here. Oh, this guy's a, such a dick. I swear. Oh. Come on. Come on. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get some life, maybe, I don't know, get some fairies, it really depends. And I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I'm back here, got some fairies, I'm ready to take them out. If I don't get it this time, I'll just gonna keep trying off screen until I do. So let's go. Whew. Can I dash it? Oh, wow. Alright, I was just curious if I could. That's probably not the safest thing to do, though. Oh, man. Alright. Well, let's see how long this takes me, huh? Wait, what? There was only one more hit after he started to go really fast? Oh, man. Oh, that took me a few tries. That wasn't too bad, but still. I almost had him a few times. Oh, well. I got a heart container for my trouble. Which luck? Can I catch it? Oh, nope. And we have the Pendant of Wisdom. Alright, you won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. Well, the Master Sword sounds like a great thing to get. But it looks like we'll have to get that in the next one. So, I'll, next one, we're just going to be heading, getting the Master Sword, and hopefully using that to rescue the King and save Hyrule. See you guys then.